This video is brought to you by Surfshark VPN. Guys, I'm feeling sad. I can't take it anymore. I want to be happy. I want to be happy, healthy, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally healthy. How do I do this? Hello. Hey, how you doing? Name's Kermit. Lord of the Dead, Frog of Wisdom, however you want to say it, doesn't matter. The enlightenment you seek comes in many forms, my little tadpole. What your soul needs now is a little something called clout. How do I obtain this clout you speak of? The answer can be found in the form of likes from strangers on the internet who don't care about you. You seek approval, and each like you get increases your value as a human being, and thus your chances of getting into heaven. Hey! Come here and I will bestow my knowledge upon you. Come on. Come on. You are no longer Andrew, you have ascended! Your new name is now Art Boy! Go forth, Art Boy, and spread this knowledge to your followers! And don't call me again, I was sleeping, you little Little did I know that becoming Art Boy was just the beginning of my journey. All right, you little bud panda, there's a lot to share with you. Let's just jump into it. In one of my recent videos, I showed you how to fake a good sketchbook page, even if you're bad at art. I walked you through the five steps that you need to do to be able to make something like this. And boy, did that seem to work for you guys, because you posted a bunch of drawings and tagged me in them, and oh my God. But what I didn't explain is how to take that sketchbook page and make it look even better when you post it on the internet. Because we all know that happiness comes in the form of... What is it? Come on. That's right. Likes. And likes only. Here are the five things that you'll learn how to do in this video. What to draw. How to draw it. Taking the photo. Editing the photo. And posting the photo. I'll break down each and every one of those steps right now. What to draw. Hmm. Okay. Do we care about expressing ourselves through art? No. Are we gonna draw what we want to draw? Of course not. That would be bold and fearless. We need likes! And likes only! So forget expressing yourself. Forget practicing things that'll make you a better artist. We're gonna draw one thing. Three-quarter view portraits of cute girls. Nothing else! How to draw it. Well, I'm sitting on a lot of good information and tips and tricks that I'm gonna make into another video. But until then, I can give you one tip. Once you draw your really bad drawing, you can either erase the whole thing and go over it so it's cleaner lines, or put a paper on top of it and trace it. That way you won't have all of those eraser marks and stuff, all right? Ah. You know what? I decided I'm actually gonna give you an extra bonus tip with this. Your graphite pencil can only make your drawing so dark. You need something darker. So use a black colored pencil to the areas where it needs to be the darkest to add more contrast. I learned that tip from Mark Crilly. Shout out to my boy. Taking the photo. Always, always, always include your super fancy art supplies in with the picture. Because we can't let the secret out that you can make good art with bad supplies. No one must know. Flex on your haters, baby. You wanna flex on 11% of the world's population? Show that you can afford a Copic marker and have access to clean drinking water. H2 owned, am I right? Ooh, you suck. Suck on that, Susan. Natural light. <laughs> Let's say you don't have a scanner and you have to take a photo of your art. Make sure that you have good natural lighting, okay? If you don't have a good lighting setup, put it by a window, baby. Remember what your auntie says, baby. 
Mother Nature was designed for Instagram-like traps and also allergies. Now, when you're taking your photo, make sure that you have not eaten and that you've drank a lot of coffee so that your hands are nice and shaky and don't let your camera focus on your drawing. We want it to be nice and blurry. Thank you, this video is sponsored by Pollen. Also, make sure you have a nice shadow of your camera on the drawing. Turn to page 394. Or if you're feeling extra fancy, you can take a picture of it outside in nature. Ow. Nature. Remember, our message needs to be very clear. I'm happy, I'm healthy, I go on walks, I don't watch TikTok for four hours every day, I'm better than that. Oh hey look, there's me. No one will know that you spent 10 hours on your drawing in your room while you were crying to yourself, waited for a sunny day, spent two hours trying to find the right location and angle, and then took 400 pictures of it just so that it would be Oh, so perfect. Just a little picture. I just happen to be walking in nature. I do that. Walk in nature. The trees. Hi, lady. What? And don't forget, life is precious. So don't waste time falling in love with yourself when you can change who you are to fit someone else's ideals. And the most important part, Show a little leg, cause your art isn't good enough to stand on its own. Open your eyes, sheeple. Ah, editing the photo. Cool, got my photo, I can just post it, right? WRONG! I'm getting real tired of your attitude. I, just let me finish. You can't post it. That is literally the stupidest thing that you can do, okay? You have to bring it into a photo editing thing and mm, it's okay. Just, mm. Photoshop or literally any other digital art software will work just fine. These tips are universal, so any program will work, even the ones on the iPad. Levels. You can adjust the darks and the lights in the picture to give it more contrast, hue and saturation. You can mess with how colorful the image is. But this is the most important part. Flip it horizontally so that you can see your mistakes, and then use the liquify tool to glob things around to make it set right. Now, are we gonna say that your piece is a traditional art piece? You betcha. Is it going to be? Hell no! Inhale the memes. Use your digital art skills to retouch that baby, baby. Fix the lines and add color all you want. Now, arguably the most important thing of this whole video is you need to add a giant watermark to the middle of this because you just made the best drawing in the entire world and everybody on the entire internet is lined up ready to steal your precious art and make millions off of it. They're trying to ruin your career. They're waiting for you to post this. You have to put that watermark on there. Okay, we saved the picture. We're done editing, right? The answer is no, my friend. Now we have to bring it into Instagram and use the tools within the app to edit the picture even further. Now, do we have the settings set so that when you upload your picture, it will automatically save a copy to your phone? Of course not. That would be a high quality save. You want to take a screenshot of the picture you just edited. Remember, the more times you screenshot your picture, the better the quality. Okay. Posting your photo. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, TikTok, Amino, let's go through them. Instagram, all right, let's start with the caption. Should we ask a relevant question in the caption so that it will encourage people to comment, therefore leading to more engagement and thus getting on the discovery page for more accounts? No, that would lead to more likes. That's logical. Should we write about how we felt when we made this piece and what it means to us. No! That makes sense! What you're gonna wanna do, listen carefully, listen carefully. You. I need you to do this very specific thing, okay? In the caption of your post, use a quote, preferably by an ancient philosopher or poet. Okay, so we're gonna use this. Why would you say something so controversial yet so brave? Hashtags, okay, what do I God. Well, no more 
No more phone stand. We're going to have to do it gorilla style, baby. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, you know what I mean? There are two ways that your art can be discovered using the hashtags. First thing is they can use the search bar and type in the hashtag that they want. Hashtag art. Things with the hashtag art in the caption will show up, right? But the other thing that they can do is they can see a piece that they like, go to the caption, and see all the hashtags that they use. They'll be like, oh, this piece uses uh, hashtag Shrek furry. I like, uh, I'm going to see what else is here. Most of the dumb people who don't have any success use hashtags like art, sketchbook, beginner art, hashtags that have nothing to do with the piece itself. So what I like to do is use hashtags that are a little bit more relevant, like, um, guys, I'm f***ing panicking. Where are my dino nuggies at? Mom! What? Where are my dino nuggies? I left them on the stove. Okay. Be careful, they're hot. Okay, uh, I hate this family. Twitter, post it. Use, uh, I don't know, use a hashtag or two. I don't know, I'm still figuring out Twitter. Facebook, post it to your friends. Oh, what, they haven't used Facebook since 2012? Well, post it and uh, I guarantee you, your aunt will judge you for it because she's on there, she's on Facebook. You know she is. Reddit, uh, f find the subreddit that you like and then follow the rules of that subreddit because God only knows what happens when you disobey the subreddit rules. TikTok. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, I met God. Um, I don't know yet. I'll try out a bunch of stuff and then once I start getting a bunch of attention on TikTok, I'll make a video on how I did it. Amino. Oh, you're not following me on Amino? It's a whole thing dedicated to Zabio Arts fans. We do art contests and stuff. Download the Amino app and then search Zabio Arts fans and then boom, we are here, baby. It sounds like this video is sponsored by Amino, but it's not. It's actually sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN is the only VPN that can be summoned with a seance. That's not true. I can't legally say that. I realize that a lot of people don't actually know what a VPN is. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. It allows you to connect to the internet through an encrypted tunnel. Why would you want to do this? Well, it'll protect you on public Wi-Fi, hide your IP address, make your browsing private, and it'll allow you to access blocked websites and content that is only available in other countries. I think it's a no-brainer, but some people still don't know that using a VPN is actually common practice now. This means you'll be totally protected when you search, am I transgender? And then later, how to tell my family that I'm a boy. There are no logs, so no one knows what you're doing on the internet, not even Surfshark. Sad you can't watch Friends on Netflix anymore? Oh no. Well, that actually only applies to the US. If you download the Surfshark VPN app and then choose a different country, now when you search Friends, boom, it'll come up. Go to locations. Ah, Montreal. Now we'll search Friends. Search it, baby. Guess what? Boom, right here. Just trying to stay awake. <laughs> Exactly, that's how I feel with this show. Now you can watch Ross be a psychopath from the comfort of your own dirty, dirty bedroom. And you can continue your investigation on whether or not Chandler is secretly bi. You get to say you're anywhere in the world that you want, no more targeted ads, hack alerts so that you'll get notified when someone uses your email or your password gets leaked, you can use it on every single one of your devices, and there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if it sucks, you pay nothing. It doesn't suck. You'll love it. VPNs are awesome. As of the date of filming this video, this is the best deal I can find with a reliable, safe VPN service. If you tap the link in the description and use the code BUTTPANDA, you'll get 84% off. So now it's less than $2 per month. Actually, a dude named Alex who works at Surfshark said that he would throw in an extra month for you on top of that. Did I really insist on using BUTTPANDA as the coupon code? I did. Why? Personal amusement, I don't know. Surfshark VPN. Supporting butt pandas since 2020. Should I do anything else to increase my likes and followers? The first thing you should do, Harrison, is never, ever value likes and followers. And I know everybody does, Harrison, even 88-year-olds. Because you know that you and your friends, they talk about how many TikTok followers or subscribers, and everybody gets caught up in the game. And what ends up happening, my man, is eventually, then when it doesn't go as well, you get sad. You know how popularity in school is already starting to happen? Like, who's right? And then sometimes if you don't feel popular, you get unhappy. I'm worried that that's what would happen if you care about how many likes and subscribers you have. You need to make epic food content because you love it, right? Mm -hmm. 
not don't even look at the likes and followers until you're 18 then you call me and then i'll help you get a whole bunch more if you want gotcha all right brother take care you too now go get some likes tag me in your right i want to see you. How you going? Name's Kermit.